Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Women will come up with excuses when they really don't want you. Understand something with women. And I talked about listening to women. One of the things in listening to women, like sitting back and listening, they, when they reject someone, it's not always a straight rejection. In fact, it's rare. Yeah, there's people talk about nuclear rejections and them being mean, but honestly, that can be rare. That can be rare. And it's usually the only time they do that is when you just come in on too hard. And yes, there are some mean women out there, but most of the time women will reject you indirectly. Like say you approach a woman and you start talking, maybe they'll start talking back and just for, you know, to add on to what I was talking about listening, sometimes women, they'll talk just because of the position that they're in and they want to keep the peace. Because women walk around here worried about somebody like doing, committing an act of violence to them. So a lot of women have learned how to be peaceful. But then when they want to reject you, and not only when in situations where you approach them, but say you're in the same social circle and you try and go out and stuff and they'll say, They'll find something. It, it, they'll find something about you that you can't really change. I use a, a common one, height. Now, I've said several times, I've said several times there's some um, uh, short statured players out there. But let's be real. Let's, I mean, and I'm real about it, too, because when I talk about that, I talk about men who overcome it. But women will use that. Like, say you 5'11", and a woman, she, 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 I don't know how, like, just say she guessed that you under that, under, like, six feet. She'll say, oh, no, only date six foot one guys. And you're like, what? Or I only date men who have an education. Mm -hmm. There is always something, but it's something that you can't really fight. And then I'm going to tell you what that does. That really doesn't put pressure on her to have to deal with you. Cause she'll just say it's her preference and you can't say, well, you should do it. Say, no, that's just what I like and everything. Okay. But really what it come down to, she just ain't feeling. Because the same woman who said, well, I ain't dating somebody. Like I ain't dating somebody five, seven. You start scratching around a bit or if you're in a social circle, you start asking around, you find out, oh yeah, she got dogged out. Somebody five, seven just rolled that joint. <laughs> Seriously, I've seen this happen. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you what, a whole lot of women, they'll still tell a guy they don't want him for this reason. Oh, you're not educated. Or, well, you're not making this much amount of money. No, they just ain't feeling you. You know, it'd be some shit that they don't think you could change. Like you could say, well, like the woman might say, well, you gotta make 100,000 to deal with me. I'm sorry, I just can't deal with it. I know it sounds bad, but then, you break out your bank statement and you make a quarter million. So it's like, what? <laughs> Instead of her just saying, oh, she don't want to deal with you. See, most women are indirect. Like, I respect women who just say, you know what, I'm not interested. I respect the hell out of them. It makes everything easy. But others are indirect. Like, I share a story with I share a story with you. Um, like, back in the day, like, this woman, she knew about my sister. My sister was on the spectrum and everything right and she came up with some bullshit like oh you don't hang out with your sister enough uh you know i can't date you yeah i'm looking at her like what the you don't know how often i hang out with my sister and i actually said to him just say you ain't interested okay don't come up with that bullshit seriously but that's part of it that's part of it see you gotta take that you gotta take it, like it's a rejection regardless, but sometimes, you know, some women be on some bullshit with it. You know, they'll come up with whatever. They'll come up with it, whatever. Indeed, and, you know, we ain't gonna get into, you know, you're supposed to go on a date, but you know, her auntie died or something like that. You know, no one, her auntie's like healthy as shit. <laughs> you know, some, but really, that's just the thing. Women in general are just indirect with it. And unfortunately, some guys will hear that and then they'll say, no, nah, she don't want me because I just don't have the education. You get that degree, she still ain't gonna want you. You know, 
She'll say, well, I don't want you. you you're only 5'7". I got to get a guy 6'2". But then you check with her. You, know, you get in a circle, and she done rejected three guys who were 6'2". And she probably came up with an excuse for them. Oh, no, only date guys who got a, you know, they built a certain way. Only do this. Yet every single time, if you check, or you check their past boy, if you get a chance to, or shoot, go through their social media, you'd be like, well, hold up, that dude don't look like what she say uh, she wouldn't date. Wait a minute, how's she hanging out with that dude, you know? Or, you know, some dude looking like just a straight up thug or something, say you gotta be educated. And the dude looking like a straight up thug. I mean, yeah, you can get somebody looking like, you know, they done committed three capital murders and stuff, getting an education. Shoot, you can get an education in jail. But come on now, come on, you know? Or uh, one woman acted funky with me, right? This was, see, let, let me just say something real quick. What I know, I ain't one of those dudes gonna tell you, oh yeah, every woman wanted me. No, come on. A lot, but not every one. And so that's how I learned shit. So I remember this was back uh, before, you know, you had uh, be able to FaceTime or anything like that, or even really share pictures. It was bad to get a picture up on the internet. You needed like a big bulky scanner and everything. Couldn't just take, this was before smartphones were even invented. You know, you had those, the cell, the cell phones, those big, uh, like little boxy type of thing, you know, like a remote or something, you know, smaller remote, like that size. So this woman, you know, we were talking on the phone and she's, and then I think in our conversation, she kind of lost interest. So she was like, hey, you got earrings or, uh, Tattoos. I was like, no. Oh, then she started didn't want to like talk anymore. And I was like, mm -hmm. you don't know. You still don't know what I look like. You know? And in fact, uh, some of her friends saw me. They were like, no, nah, you look good to us. Yeah, social circle thing. It was an interesting thing. But understand some just period, you know. Like I said, women, just, just understand that. And that's part of listening. That's kind of connected to listening. Like, what are they talking about? Like, what they'll do is they'll find something about you and say, oh, no, I can't deal with it. Like, uh, the shoe thing. Let me use the shoe thing. I'm famous for saying women will suck your dick off shoes. And it's very important to them. But then they'll use that to reject you, too. Something small. Oh, this shoe's scruffy and shit. And then you dig in their background. They, they were dealing with somebody walking around in uh, slides. <laughs> I mean, you know. You know, look, here's the thing with women. Here's the ultimate thing with women. If they want you, they want you. Ultimately. Ultimately. If they want you, they want you. It don't matter. Shit. You, you could walk around. They could want you. Like, if a woman really want a man, she turn on sexually. A whole lot of them will buy clothes for a man if they want to see him in something, if they really want him. But if they don't really want him, they're going to look for something on him to say, no, nah, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. And tell him. You know, and they'll try to find something that he can't change easily in most cases. They'll find something he can't change. See, peep the game, peep the game. Like I said, only a few women are just direct with it. And part, actually part of it is a lot of guys can't handle rejection. Like a woman might say she ain't interested and then a guy want to curse her out. Now he should thank her. Like I said, I've had some women just directly reject me. Just say, you know, I'm not interested or just no. And I say, hey, you know what? Thank you. I appreciate that. I actually had one smile after that and give me her number. She was like, damn, you know, I told you no. And you were cool about it. Hold up. Let me get to know you. Because I was just cool with it. Because she was saying where she was. And see, let me just say something about that. Because some guys get mad. But And I've said this. I either said it here or on my Patreon. Y'all really need to check out my Patreon. Because I had a lot of stuff I don't talk about here. You don't know. I think I did talk about it here. You don't know what's going on with that particular woman. You know, you might be trying to talk to her and her, her man just right around the corner. Her man walking up behind you. Or she might not like, she might not like men, period. <laughs> you don't know. I personally know some serious, like, pretty ass, like, natural, at least eight, who are lesbians. I got, I got two young ladies I know. Two young ladies I know personally. One, we had a text and one of the few young ladies I actually texted back and forth with. It turned out she she only liked women. You know? 
And it's just happening. You just don't know. And here's the thing. When they come up with it, whatever they say, don't, don't, don't focus on it. See, some guys will hear that and they'll just focus on it. No, that's just that one particular woman. Let me use the obvious one of height again. I've, I've known some women, they'll say they'll take a guy 5'7", 5'8", because they shorter any, they, they shorter than a man. They just want him taller. Just that particular woman don't want you. That don't mean the rest don't. And I heard some in the background, and I gotta get these, gotta get some trees cut, branches rubbing up against my window. Anyway, um, they will, and it, it, that's all it means. Don't take it to heart, and it just means that particular woman don't like it. And even if a group of women say that to you, well, hold up, let me jump on that. I was about to end that. It could be another video, but hold up, hold up. I noticed when some dudes will say, well, a woman reject me. They say, I'm ugly, I'm this. And I always ask, how many women actually said that to you? And they either say just one or they haven't come up with, it. you know, some look. Unless you, uh, t unless you talk to 100 women, like specifically, like you actually counted them and they all said the same thing. Don't get, don't trip on uh, why one woman might say she don't want you. Like I said, well, I was talking about the excuses thing. You know, you just don't know. So anyway, that's, that's all I got for now. All right. That's just, that's just woman needs. Always understand that. Don't take it personally. It's how they operate. They ain't bad. It just is. It just is. See the whole thing, when I'm telling y'all some stuff, you, you can't take it personally. You don't know what the deal is. And if she don't, and look at it like this. Finally, look at it like this. If a woman rejects you or don't want to deal with you, she's actually no good to you anyway. If a woman don't want to deal with you, I mean, you want, would you have good sex with her? You don't know if you would or not. If she don't want you, it's definitely going to be bad, you know? If she still deal with you anyway, she's trying to play you if she ain't feeling you. So if she just reject you for whatever reason, she's doing you a favor. You learn from it. You learn from it and just move on to the next one, all right? It is what it is. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.